Are you tired of having to constantly replace your battery when you're using your Sony a6400 for a long period of time? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a potential solution. What's going on, everybody? This is Andre here with Camera Review Pro. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get continuous power with the Sony a6400 using the Go9 AC power adapter kit. Now essentially, this kit is basically a power adapter that plugs into the camera's battery compartment, allowing you to plug it into the wall so you can get continuous power. With the Sony a6400, the camera's battery life itself isn't the worst out there, but it's far from the best. As you can see right here, I'm at 49% right now. After shooting maybe 20 minutes worth of a tips and tricks video, not really even using the camera to take photos or shoot videos or anything like that, really just flipping through the settings just to show you guys a thing or two. In that alone, in around 20 minutes, drained over half of the battery. So if you're using the camera for streaming or something like that, I know a lot of people like to hook this camera up to a computer to use as a webcam or maybe if you're shooting videos inside, doing a longer video or photography session, something like that, the battery is really gonna start draining fast when you're doing that kind of thing. And replacing the battery every hour or so can get really annoying. So having a power adapter like this to give the camera continuous power for a long period of time is really gonna help out a lot. Now this power adapter comes with overcharge protection, overheating protection, surge protection, all that good stuff. So when it's plugged into the camera for a longer period of time, you won't have to worry about your camera overheating or being otherwise damaged by it. It is really cool and super convenient to use. So let's take a look at how it works. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to get this set up is open your battery compartment, of course. Remove the battery from the compartment. And this is what's called a dummy battery. Basically, it goes into the battery compartment just like a normal battery, except of course, it's not a battery. It's connected to the AC power adapter, and that's gonna make the camera think that it has a battery in it, when in reality, the power is of course coming from the power adapter itself. So we're gonna plug this in here. Now with this kind of fat wire here, you might think that you'd have to leave the battery compartment open while you're using it, but luckily, with this camera, that's not actually the case. See this little notch here? You're gonna wanna make sure this is open. And all you need to do is stick the wire through this little notch, close your battery compartment, make sure it's closed all the way, and lock it into place. Now you'll be able to have your battery compartment completely closed. And of course, the power adapter is gonna be plugged in. And of course, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is plug the power adapter into a power source. So unfortunately, this specific power adapter is not compatible with USB, so you won't be able to hook it up to a power bank or anything like that. But if you're shooting videos inside and want to be able to plug the camera directly into a wall, then this power adapter is going to be great for that. So as you can see, we have the camera all plugged in right now. The power adapter is in it and it's plugged into the wall. So let's take a quick look at how it actually performs. So as you can see, the camera does turn on just like normal. And up here, it does say it's at 97% battery, so basically full. Now this power adapter is just over 15 watts, around 15.2 watts. So you can run the camera for a longer period of time. Maybe you're streaming or something and using the camera as a webcam, or if you're shooting videos indoors for YouTube or something for a longer period of time, this adapter is gonna be great for that sort of thing. So overall, I would say that this power adapter does work great with the Sony a6400. So if you're looking for an easy, reliable way to get continuous power for your camera, then the Go9 AC power adapter kit is a great option. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you found this information useful as well. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next video.